Hello boys and girls and everybody joining me today. Um, I'm in Cairnhill Art in County Cavan in Ireland and my name is Margaret McKenna and usually I've run a lot of classes here for kids and adults in this cabin but it's been very quiet lately and I'll be missing my kids who come regularly so I can do it online instead. So I might not be able to see you but you can see me hopefully doing the art and you'll be able to follow along and copy what I do. And um, I'm sure you're all missing school a lot now, maybe not, but I'm sure some of the classes are, you're doing them online or you're doing your homework and you're being very good for your mammies and daddies and was washing your hands and helping your brothers and sisters and, but hopefully having time for yourself to do something that you'd like to do. So hopefully we'll get it started and we'll do a little painting of a swan on a lake. Now today what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a pencil and a rubber to start with, okay? And I'm going to use um, two pieces of paper. Now you don't need two pieces of paper um, and some glue. And um, the reason is I'm going to do the swan on this, draw it and cut it out. So we have a little scissors here. So you might need your mother or father to help you with that or big brother, big sister, if you're depending what age you are. Um, and, um, but if you don't have a, a glue or you don't have a scissors, that's grand. You can draw on the page and it's just to make it easier because you don't, you can stick the swan on afterwards, but that doesn't really matter. So without more ado, we'll get to work. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the swan. So I'm going to see, if you look at the shapes, I'm gonna draw it down. You can see how I've built it into shapes here, shape here. So we're gonna work like that on this page. So this is the little page. It doesn't matter where you draw it on the little page. If you're doing it on the big page, I would draw it about here. Okay, about there. Okay. Now, the first thing I want to say is, when you hold a pencil, don't hold it too tight. Because if you hold it too tight, you make a really hard line and it's often very hard to rub it out then. So if you hold it nice and light, you can do it to rub out lines you don't want then, okay? That's one little thing to remember, okay? Um, I'm gonna draw hard because I want you to see the line. So I'm gonna go into the black pen, but that's all pencil. That's only because I want you to be able to see it because it's not, as, it's not so clear on this page, but you can draw much lighter than me, okay? So we're going to start with a shape like this. Now, if you look at the shape, it's kind of like a line here and you come up, see that shape? And you see at the back of it here, it's fatter than it is at the front. So this bit's a bit narrower and this is wider like that, okay? And then we're going to add a little sort of egg shape up on top. So we go up a little bit, not too high, don't go way up and don't make it too small. So we're gonna make it like something like that shape there, okay? See that, okay? Now, so we're gonna draw a line, look at the back of the head and we're gonna draw a line, there's a little bit of a curve on that like that, like, see just like that, okay? And then we can bring another one and we come back about halfway down the head. So a good little line halfway there. And we bring it another curve. And we bring it wider than the body. And it goes like that. So don't make it too wiggly. Look at these lines that they kind of go beside each other. Look. So this one is like that one. Okay. So now we've got the kind of basic swan already, as you can see. We've already got a swan shape. And we're going to put a tail on them. So we put a tail like that. Okay, and a little bit of a bit like that there. So we have a nice little little double little um, feather bit at the back. Um, I added another little bit up here just to give it a little bit of a, like it's like he's fluffing up his feathers, you know, when they you see them on the water and they kind of fluff up their feathers. Now he's no beak, the poor fella, so he needs to have a beak so he can eat. It would be kind of handy. Um, so we're going to put a beak, something like that. So don't make it too long. It's just a little shorter than his head. You can see it there, look. I'm afraid the lighting is a little bit there now. Let's have a look where we can get the light better on this. Which is better where it was. Sorry. Uh, okay. I get used to doing this with the, with the camera and the lighting after. It's my first live on some. Okay. So we're going to get a little dark bit at the top. And it's like that. This one is actually, that fella's looking down. This one's looking straight. But that doesn't matter which way you're facing. So a little bit like that. That's going to be that black part there that goes at the top of their nose. They've got that little black bit. And then we have his eye about here, just a little, it's a bit like an egg shape as well, but tiny, much smaller. And now we have our basic swan. Okay, so we just 
we'll put that aside for a minute just forget about that or if you have it drawn on the page that's fine so if we have it drawn on the page it'll be about here okay but we'll, we'll hopefully you have it every little page you can draw it separate and you can even stick it on glue it later on or just move it around the page which would be just as nice you can have a bit of fun and let them swim along there's another idea so you can have that page so we'll put that a separate aside for a minute now i'm going to draw a line that will come up about here on the page i'm going to go draw a line right across here like that okay so straight line across so that's kind of easy and then we're going to put another line and this is going this is the water line here see and then we're going to draw the line for the bank where the where the where he's at the the what real lake or wherever he's sitting so we're going to put a line like that okay and the last line we should draw is like a clouds line so we'll just put a little one two three four it doesn't matter you can do different shapes it's your cloud you can decide what shape you want your cloud it can be all that every time you do it it'll be a bit different anyway okay so that's really all the drawing so we're going to now start on the painting um hi faith i see you there uh and i'm sure there's lots of other children there that i might know coming online um and welcome to all those i don't know and um, i see you joining there so that's great and hopefully i'll have many more in the next few days because i'll be doing this regularly but i'll tell you about that after so boys and girls we're going to start painting now i've used in this picture here i used acrylic paints okay but acrylic paints are um quite hard to get off your clothes to start with so you want to wear um old clothes um so for for now i'm going to use poster paints so they're something like this type but you could use uh crayons pencils whatever you know any kind of colors really it doesn't matter what what your color is in um so for, but for now we're going to use paints so i'm going to start by painting a blue sky and i have my water and my brush and i'm just going to paint it plain blue and a bit well i might add a little bit of white into it so we get a we get a blue paint okay we add a little bit of white into it so we smudge it around like that a little bit of white into the blue okay like that okay you bring the white up to it like that just bring it on the side you bring it aside don't dab a big gimme lump into the middle of it because you'll find the paint if it's, it's white it'll just turn blue straight away so you just bring it out to the side a little bit okay so we're going to just paint our sky this is very nice and simple and go around us now if we're going around our cloud see i'm going around the cloud here if you look i'm going around the cloud but you end up kind of with the line. So I always bring the line back into the picture. So now you have a nice blue sky happening. It's a different blue than I've used up there. This is a, an ultramarine blue more. It's called ultramarine. That's the color of the blue. There's all different colored blues that you get. Blue is not just one color. It's different shades of blue. So this is an ultramarine blue. But you can use any different blue. There's lots of different shades of blue. So we're going to do it like that. Okay. And remember, you can look back at this video when it's done. So if you miss something, that's grand. It doesn't matter. You can just keep going and come back over it and look at it again, and it'll be fine. You can, if there's anything you miss, don't worry about it. So we're going to fill in. So now there we have a blue sky. Okay. Now, I'm going to wash my brush, just give it a quick little wash, and I'm going to come into green. Now, I'm just going to use a plain green out of the, out of the uh, tube to start with. Now, this green is quite a strong green, so you'll see what we're going to do after is to make it look more kind of grassy. But to start with, I'm just going to go in, and if you look at the way I'm doing my thing, so if yours, you can just go up and down like that. Keep it like little strokes, because I could paint it up and down like that, but then what am I painting? I'm painting grass, you see. So if you think about grass, grass kind of grows up out of the ground. And remember, this is sort of the bank. So the, the swan is quite near the bank. So we would see the grass. It's not like it's way in the distance. It's quite near. It's only behind the swan. So I'm going to put nice, I'm going to put a nice and take the paint too, because um, it's quite nice when you do it. And if you build it up, see the way you can already see it. You can see it there. You can actually. Um, see the way I'm doing it. Just like that all the way through the grass as i say you can you can take your time doing this you don't have to keep you can't you can work your way yourself afterwards on this because you can um you can um 
you can see it afterwards, you can pay it back. And if there's any bits you miss, um, don't worry about it, okay? So also, I'm going to, I have a group started up here. So any mammies, daddies, or big sisters, or brothers who are looking at it, who can, um, I've got a group started. I have to work, I've only just started a group on my page, Karen Hill Art. And if you want to put up your children's pictures on it, you can ask to join the group. I have to sort that out yet. I just, I'm not only literally just set it up. So I have a little patience with me there. Um, it's my first live one. So I'm just getting the hang of it. It's so strange being in here, but no people in here for classes but anyway i know you're all out there so okay here we go so we're going to finish up just do, 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 do. here we go like that now so that's all just green okay it's a very plain green right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add little colors into it so i'm going to get the yellow paint okay there's a nice bit of yellow and i'm just going to put nice bits of yellow going through it because again again we're going to just different shades because grass um there's different shades of grass and if you look out in the garden, you can see, if you look out, and I'm looking out in my garden here, and you can actually see all the different shades of grass that there is. So go to your window if you want and have a look at the grass and look at the different colours that are in the grass. So even if it's green, you'll see lots of, lots of different shades of green and there's sometimes yellowy colours in it and there's, you know, there's brownie colours in it as well. And we might add a bit of brown in it. And we're going to try and do different colours in your grass because it makes a difference to the painting. And... It's, you can do this in lots of different paintings, not just this type of painting here, okay? So we're going to... Lots of yellow coming through it like that. So we're going to just... So you can just see... Now, and see how it brightens it up and makes it much more uh, alive, makes it like really grass. But we're going to have more to different colors. First of all, we can also make a green because um, some of the greens you get when you're painting uh, aren't really very good grass colors. So you can make you can mix the blue and yellow make green. So if I get a bit of blue like that and I mix the yellow into it, you can see it starts to go green. I can't really see it very well on that, but you can see it. When it comes up here, it's a bit brownie. Now I get more yellow into it. And we'll just mix, and it makes a sort of a different kind of a, a sort of a, like like this ground underneath. You know, when you look at the ground and you see that kind of a, a brownie kind of shade coming through, or that kind of a darker shade coming through. Um, and it's like, a, yeah, you can see that shade look. So I'm going to let that come in through it, just to make it a bit, like, make it like really grassy shade. Okay, so children, you can do that. So mix your blue and your green, blue and your yellow, that makes green. You can put your green, you can put your yellow in it. So you can do all different shades going through the grass. And they all add to make it look much more um, real. And remember to go up and down, these little up and down strokes, because that makes it much better. So there we go. So we have it all like that, okay? Now, so therefore, we're, and now we're going to put a line along the bottom. So I have a little bit of brown out here. There's some brown. And I'm going to mix a bit of blue into that. So I'm going to get a rather darkish shade of that, sort of a darkish kind of color. And that's kind of like the bank. That's where the, where the water meets it. So where the water meets the bank, we're going to get a kind of a darker shade, okay? So we're going to put that along the bottom, sort of like that. And we're going to put it, see, and it just gives it like as if it's the edge of the bank where the, where the ground, where the ground meets the, um, the, 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 the earth meets the, meets the water. Now, so give it a little bit of a bit like that. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to wash a brush and I'm going to come in with more blue. Now, this time I'm going to use, well, I can use the blue that I use for the sky, the blue and a bit of white into it. Okay. Like that. And I'm going to use different kind of stroke this time i'm going to go down so i'm going to go up and down up and down up and down now you might think why am i not going across because it's water and i think my some of you in my class might have done this before who have been in the other art classes and I'm, i don't even mind if there's a bit of green through it by the way i mean my water my brush is clean but it's not all that clean it's a bit you know 
it makes it easier to see. So you don't have to worry about it being perfectly clean, okay? So you get all the little, see, look up, down, and I'm going to go right up to that edge there. I'm going to bring up, down, up, down, up, down. Now we just might tilt this a little forward so you can see it a bit better. I think, yeah, just to get the rest of it, okay? Now, there we go. So we're going to get, okay? So go up, down, all the way down to the bottom, all the way up, like that. So nice big strokes. You get a wide brush. I mean, this brush is probably not that big. I probably could use different brushes really with it, but I'm going to just use the one brush for now. Um, sometimes a, a nice big wide brush is better for doing all these big wide areas because you cover a lot more in a lot quicker. So you do rather than a little tiny brush. Now, straight up and down, up and down. There we go. All the way up. Now, as I say, you don't, if you can't get, you don't have to work the same, like, the, you know, you can work at your own pace and you can work at your own speed and you can come back and look at it again because it'll be too, I might be going too fast, but that doesn't, it doesn't really matter because um, you'll be able to um, look in anytime you want and play. Now, so there we go. That's. Now, so we've got it down like that, okay? I'm also going to put in a little reflection because you know when you look at the lake and you see the, the grass along the top and then if you look into the water, you'll see the, like the reflection of the, the grass in the water. So I'm going to put a bit of the green like that, just lightly, not too heavy. Remember, you can do this with pencils and crayons as well. You can always do exactly the same and the same thing will happen with the strokes. And if you were doing the grass with pencils, um, pencil crayons or pencil, um, coloring pencils or, um, yeah, about wax grains. You can do the same. You can use you can use your green, and you can put the yellows in between and the browns in between. And um, you don't just you don't have, just have to use paint. So we're going to use a little bit of the the green like that, cross like that, a little bit like that there. Okay. Now, Now we're going to leave that aside for a minute, okay? So we're not going to do any more just for a minute. We'll just put this to the side, okay? So just leave this to the side for a moment. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just um, go back to my swan. So I'm just going to leave this here for a moment. Come on, there. Now, there we go. Now, I'm going to come back to my swan. So there's our swan that we drew earlier, okay? <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to actually get a little bit of our um, colouring our shadows on it. So before we do that, we're going to rub out the lines we don't need. So we don't need this line underneath. See this line here? The line at the bottom of the face? We don't need that one. And that's why I said to do it quite light, because it makes it much easier to, pay, to, to, um, to undo. We can, we, can light, we can take out this one. Though we will kind of put it in a bit of a shadow. We can leave this one here, because we're going to use, we're going to use a, quite a strong shadow on that. Now, when I say a shadow, what do I mean? Well, a shadow is something, and a white is kind of inclined to be a bit like a grey colour. So how do you make grey? Um, you can make grey in lots of different ways. But if you make grey with um, black and white, it can look very, very dead looking. It doesn't look really good. So I usually mix a bit of the blue and brown together. So I get my brown and I get my blue. And I can add a little bit of white into that to make it lighter. So we can make a blue, a brown, and a white. And we make the three of these together, and we make a gray shade, okay? So I'm going to say the light, now we have to find where it's going to be the sun. So in this picture, I have the sun coming over here. And so why do I say the sun is coming from over here? The, the internet is a little bit, it's a bit up and down there a bit. Um, if it stops and go, starts a little bit, it could be just um, the internet is a little slow. Um, okay, I think it's okay again now. So um, we're going to put the sun is over here. So I'm going to put a bit of shadow down on the left. Because if the sun is over here, the shadow is going to be on the other side. So I'm going to put a dark line like that. I'm going to put a little bit of a dark 
line on this side of the head, a little bit of dark there. And you know what? When you're doing your paint, this is another thing. Hold your brush back up the brush. Don't hold it like a pencil. Hold it further back, okay? And also, don't, um, have, don't have too much paint on the brush. Take off some of the paint. So don't have it too, too wet and too many, too lumpy. So take some of, you know, you can have a piece of paper and just take it off so that you've only got a little bit of paint on it. We're going to put a bit of shadow down here. Okay. And we're going to put a little bit of shadow in here. We're going to do the, I'm doing all the dark shadows first. A little shadow in there. And a little shadow on the top bit there. Okay. Now, we're going to add a bit more white to that grey. So we've got a grey, we've got a blue and the brown and a little bit of white. Now I'm going to put in more white. So it's a lighter grey this time. So it's a quite a light grey. It's just a little bit off white. And we're going to put little... Well, that's a bit too dark, you see? It's see, I can make mistakes too, lots of times. In fact, that's how you learn, by making all the mistakes. So I'm just making it a little bit lighter. It's still a bit dark. Oh no, here we go. Here we go. And I'm going to do little, little tiny little lines like that. Look, can you see them? And I'm going to even down the side of the neck, I'm going to come into a little lighter bit there. Look, just on this, just beside the dark line, I'm going to put a lighter line. Look. And if you have pen, colouring pencils, you can use, um, well, some of them have grey pencils. And if you don't, you can use a black pencil or a black um crayon and just do it really light don't 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 go heavy again hold it quite nice and light and then you can make a gray even with the black you can make a gray okay so just very light and then you can do a little shadow like that and you can come back with lots more white just pure white that is big lump of white and you can put white in and out through it and it'll just give it a nice little you hardly see it but when you're up close you will and it's hard to see from there, but you will see it. Now, okay, so we're going to now get we're going to get a little colour on the um on his beak because he's got no colour on the beak. Now the colour of a, um their beaks are um orange usually. So if you have an orange, use an orange, but I'm using a little tiny bit of red into my yellow. So I have a little bit of red and you put towards the yellow like that just a tiny bit of red because red is very very strong and it really um it makes it very very um it makes it very orange very quick very reddish so see like that and i'm going to color in it's big like that see so now we're going to get a bit of black so I'll just wash my brush again. And I'm going to just use just black on its own. And again, I'm going to, when I take the black, I'm going to, don't put a big lump. You can take a lump like that. And then take it off a little bit. You know, just don't have too much on the brush because otherwise you just put a big blob on it. So it's harder to do. So put a little bit of black here like that. And we'll put a little bit of black in his eye. I'm going to leave a tiny little bit of white. You can just see I barely made a little bit of white. I might, if I can try and get it up close to the camera, I will, with it, if you can see it, because it's hard, I know, from there. So, let me just see if I can get that up closer. Um, now, there you go. Now, if you can see, I have a tiny little dot of white there, and I've used the black, and you can see the white on the shadow. So it's a darker shadow here and here, and then a sort of lighter little flicks and you get that feeling of feathers. And that's where you use a brush that's not very much paint on it. So you just take off the brush. Take, you know, take off the paint off the brush. So that's our swan. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to cut them out. So I'll put my brush in the water and I get my scissors. You might need help with this. You might not. So if you do, you, you can just ask someone at home. Oh, you don't have to do it now. If you've drawn the swan on the page, you just have to draw around the swan. 
it does and paint around the swan it, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter so i'm going to cut this fella out now so i will I will see what we're going to do this then. Nearly there. Oh, I've got to look at it. His neck is not done yet. Okay. There we go. That's that bit done. And now we've just got the head bit to do. Now, nearly there. Just the under part of his head. And then we'll stick it on and then you'll see what it looks like. And I have a bit more to do then too. We're not done. We're nearly there. So. Mm, now, okay. So, there we go. Now, there's our, there's our picture. So, let's just it back a bit because it's just got a bit of crease there. Now, we just have to put them on it. So we can decide where to put them. So maybe I'll put them about here, will I? Okay, so we're gonna get some glue. And I'll just stick it down, it's a bit. Let's get a bit of glue and stick it on. Stick it on his, and on his beak. Don't forget the little bit at the beak because sometimes that ends up sticking out off the page if you don't get the bit on the beak and it'll end up um, coming off the page easy. So I'm just using this type of, um, it's the glue gel, it's very handy, that type of one. Um, Pritt stick would be fine. Those type of ones would be very handy. Anything, you know, just easy to use. Um, so we're going to stick it on here like that. You can decide where you want him on the paper. I think I'll put him about here. Not that right. Same as the other one. Oh, he's actually, that's interesting. Now I look, I put him up different in this one. Every time you do, I do a picture, it's different. But that's great. That's the part of what makes it interesting. So I'm going to add a little bit more black there because I actually put a bit of um I got it, the bit of black that came off it. So I'm just going to add a bit more black onto his onto his top of his thing there like that. There we go. Now we're not quite finished. We're nearly there. What we want to do is we want to put a little reflection of the swan in the water because we put the reflection of this, but we need to make the swan as nice and white. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a bit of a bit of the white just underneath the swan just right underneath the swan just like that see now i'm going to come back with a really dark gray so do you remember our gray we made our blue and our brown i'm not going to put any white in it this time just blue and brown and you can make it a very dark don't make it too browny and don't make it too bluey so if you mix half of blue and half of brown so about the same amount of each we're going to put a bit of a dark bit down you see how dark that is it's almost like a black it's that dark i'm just going to put it underneath the swan like that i'll give an extra little bit in there a little, little extra bit in there a bit there see so i'm putting a little, little bit at the bottom little bit extra bit there and a little extra bit in there now the last bit is just to make the little rings on the water because remember when he's he's sitting there in the water and he's just making a little bit of a ripple on the water so i'm going to come back with my blue just the blue on its own and we're going to put a few little now again don't put too much on the paint on the brush And it's a little bit of a ring around like that, a little bit around like that. And I'm going to do the same with the white. And we're going to put a few straight ones as well. Oh, that's falling on me now. So we're going to put a little like that. Oh, it's falling on me now. Your little light ones like that, okay? Yeah, yeah, there we go. And that gives it like a reflection, it makes it makes it nice, and you can even put some of our bluey white ones as well. And we'll put it, see them and put little rings like that. So there we go. 
And there we have it. Now, so there we have our swan done for today. And now I've used, as I say, much lighter colors, so much deeper colors in that because I've used acrylic paint. Um, you can use acrylics if you, as I say, if you keep um, nice dirty clothes on, as it were, not your good clothes, um, but, uh, or if you have acrylics at home. And um, so this is the poster paint, so it's much, it's a bit lighter. Uh, so um, that's it for today. Now, if you have, um, I hope if you have pictures that you want to show, uh, you can join the group. Um, I hope I'll try and get it sorted, make sure that I can get you all to join. And you can stick up your pictures on, and not just these pictures, but other pictures that you've done. And you can also um, play this back if there's uh, parts of it you missed. Um, I'm hoping to do another one all going well on Saturday. And I hope to do um, an adult art class as well. Um, I'll paint a picture um, sometime, hopefully, all going well again, that everything's okay on Friday. So um, keep, in, uh, keep tuned. I'll put a post about it. And I hope to see your pictures online. And oh, yeah, if you have any suggestions of some things you'd like me to draw for you, uh, children, boys and girls, let me know, because um, I'm more than willing to... Um, see what your ideas are and i'd love to to do things you'd like to do so listen there uh, kids um well that's all for now and i hope to see you soon again so i'd say saturday at 12 o'clock at midday okay so bye for now and i'm um, looking forward to seeing you again bye bye